If you are in the real estate industry in Kenya, you are a professional or a business owner in the real estate sector, you should consider starting an online business in Kenya based on your real estate experience, knowledge, skills, and expertise. And the reason why I'm mentioning this or why I am persuading you to actually consider building an online business in Kenya is because you can be able to monetize your knowledge, your skills, your expertise. You can also be able to actually share your life experiences in the real estate industry. What this means is that you do not actually need to be an expert in the real estate sector. You may not even need to have a business in that particular sector. You are not even required to be a professional in the sector. You may be a consumer of product or services in that sector. Let me give you an example. If you have built a house, if you have built an apartment, if you are doing anything in that particular sector, maybe you are a student studying architecture, building engineering, or even studying building economics, can actually be able to build an income generating online business based on that, based on sharing your experience about those things. And that's one of the most interesting and probably the most beautiful thing about having an online business. It is actually personal. It's something that is based on who you are and your perspectives and your opinions. And you can be able to build it into something that actually is an income generating asset for you. In today's market, and especially if you're in the real estate space in Kenya, you really cannot afford not to tap into the opportunities that an online ecosystem brings. You can actually be able to reach the diaspora market. You can be able to reach customers that you would not actually reach if you are to use the traditional way of trying to generate those business leads. If you are to think of a blog article or a YouTube video, those are assets that can be generating new leads forever. They actually become your marketing agents. They help you to bring in people who would be interested in whatever solution that you are providing. And that's why you need to think of this as a business. You need to figure out how can you tap into the global market? How can you tap into the global real estate market even when you are just here in Kenya? And this can only happen if you start an income generating online business in Kenya based on your real estate experience, real estate knowledge, and the skills that you have gathered or that you have experienced on your journey when dealing with real estate products or solutions. Now, there are quite a number of skills that you probably need to acquire if you are going to build a profitable real estate based online business in Kenya. And that's just one aspect of it. To be able to actually be successful when building an online business in Kenya, you need to think of three phases. You need to think of it in three phases or three stages. When you're building an online business in Kenya, you need to think of three key stages that will be required if you are to actually turn it into an income generating online business in Kenya. These three stages or phases are stage one, where you are going to focus on building an audience. Stage two, where you are going to focus on building trust with that particular audience or community that you are building. And stage three, which is where you bring in monetization. This is where you actually implement the ways you are going to make money with your online business in Kenya. So if you are to build an online business based on real estate in Kenya, you need to make sure that the three stages or the three phases are working together. That's because stage one, you're going to focus on building audience. You want to be clear on who you are helping. You want to be clear on who your ideal customer is. And once you have that clarity, then it becomes easier because you are going then not to be shooting blank. You're not going to be targeting everybody are going to solve problems of that specific person. And this is where creating content online comes in play and why you should actually consider creating content, having a blog or having a YouTube channel as part of your online business plan, as part of your online business strategy. 
This is because those platforms are what you are going to use to build your audience. You are going to attract people who are interested in whatever product or services that you are providing or whatever real estate subject that you are covering. And once you have that audience or that community, then you need to figure out how you are going to build trust with them. And there are quite a number of ways on how you can be able to do this online, including being consistent if you are creating content, being available to them. But the most effective form of building trust with your online audience is actually email marketing. So you will need to learn how email marketing works and the various email marketing platforms that you can be able to use to continue engaging and building trust with your audience. And I think this will be an entire video on its own. So subscribe if you want to get that video when I publish it. Then the third item or the third thing that you need to focus on is actually monetization. And this might be the most interesting one. You need to figure out how your online business in Kenya is going to make money. How your real estate based online business is actually going to generate an income. And having this clarity is very important because once you know how you are going to make money, and there are quite a number of ways how you can be able to make money with an online business in Kenya, this is going to inform your business strategy. It is going to inform your content strategy. It is also going to inform maybe the people that you need to engage, the customers that you want to work with. So you need to be aware of these three phases and ensure that you have a clear plan on how you are going to implement them, how you are going to build audience, how you are going to build trust with that audience, and how you are going to monetize your online business in Kenya. The real estate market in Kenya and in the world is actually full of endless possibilities. And if you can be a creative entrepreneur, especially an online entrepreneur, you can actually be able to tap into the opportunities that online business models provide when it comes to the real estate market across the world. If you're in real estate in Kenya, starting an online business is actually a huge opportunity for you. It brings you into the space of online business ecosystems. And that is part of the emerging creator economy and the global e-commerce business that is actually growing and thriving. And you can find a way to get into that space. You can be able to tap into those opportunities by actually starting a real estate online business in Kenya. But all this starts with you being curious and being interested in building a real estate online business in Kenya, which is what I would actually want to encourage you to do. Do some research, understand the risk, understand the opportunities, and then make a decision that is informed. Do not ignore this particular video. Do not ignore this particular message. You look into it and if you find that it is something that you would want to pursue, go ahead and start taking action towards it. At the same time, if you do research, study and understand it and then decide you do not want to pursue such an opportunity, that is also a good decision but you should not make that decision before you have done your research. What this means is that if you actually have an interest in real estate, you can be able to find ways to make money with that particular interest, with that particular knowledge, by actually starting and building an income generating online business based on that. And you are not alone in doing this. If you go on Google or on YouTube, you will find a lot of people who have actually been able to do it, which means the concept works. The concept has been proven in the market that it works, which means all you have to do is actually create a plan and actually start executing on that plan. So let's say you want to start a real estate blog in Kenya or a real estate YouTube channel in Kenya. All you need to do is sit and create a plan on how you are going to execute that over the next couple of years, maybe three to five years. Because if you are building a business, then your mindset should be long term. You shouldn't be looking for a short term fix. 
you're not starting a blog or a YouTube channel and expecting to be making money next week or next month. Well, you can, you might be lucky, but actually it may take you a little bit longer than you think. So you need to have that kind of mindset in terms of what you're actually doing is building a little online business. And that requires focus, patience, and consistency. Things or habits that you must develop if you already do not have them. But here are the good news for you. You can be able to do this and succeed in building a profitable online business in Kenya based on the real estate sector. It has been done and you can do it. And there are quite a number of online business ideas that you can actually tap into as well as learning the various online business models in Kenya that you can use. And in simple terms, an online business model is actually how you are going to generate money. You need to be very clear on how you are going to make money with your online business in Kenya. Some of the ideas that you may actually be having when it comes to making money with an online business in Kenya include affiliate marketing, display advertising, coaching, selling your digital products, e-commerce, among other ideas. And if you'd want to learn more about this, I want you to watch the video on your screen right now. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not, and I'll see you in the next video.